everyone. My name is Lupita. I am a health educator with CAPCA CalFresh Healthy Living. Today we will be going over the last and final lesson of the My Plate for My Family series, lesson four, which talks about family time and active fun. Just a reminder, I will be on screen just for this slide, but the remainder of the lesson, you will just be hearing my voice. So let's get started. So before we begin the lesson, I want to point out that our program is funded by the USDA and is recognized as an equal opportunity employer. Before we get started with today's lesson, I want to do a quick overview of the last three lessons. For lesson one, My Plate Family Meals, we learned how to identify two time-saving or low-cost ways to prepare family meals each week. And we were able to identify tasks your children can do to help make family meals during the week. Lesson two, how much food and physical activity. It reviewed ways to plan and prepare healthy meals using the nutrition facts label. We discussed the right amount of foods which the lesson did highlight fats, sugars, and sodium, and it briefly discussed ways your family members can be physically active, which we will actually go into more detail for this lesson. And finally, lesson three, vegetables and fruits, simple solutions, focus on vegetables and fruits to eat during the week, we identified ways to encourage children to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables each day. During the lesson, we reviewed ways to recognize what one cup of vegetables and what one cup of fruit look like. All right, now let's jump into today's lesson. This lesson is intended to help busy parents, caregivers, and their families to be more physically active. We will discuss why being physically active is important and the challenges to being active every day. Today's main takeaways is by the end of the lesson, we hope everybody can identify two ways to get at least two and a half hours of moderate to intense physical activity per week and identify at least two ways to help your kids be physically active every day. Eating healthier foods is important, but we also need to be physically active. Adults should try to be active on most days of the week. Children should try to be active every day. Think about activities you enjoy and find ways to move throughout the day. Some physical activity is better than none at all. So adults should be active at least two and a half hours a week. So you can do about 20 minutes on most days or you can do four days of 30 minutes of physical activity, whatever works for your schedule. For kids, it is recommended to do at least 60 minutes of physical activity every day. Kids and adolescents should include muscle and bone strengthening activities like climbing and jumping at least three days a week. And children ages two to five should play throughout the day. You can encourage your toddler or preschooler to do a variety of activities that help him or her grow and develop. Find ways to be active your way. Like I mentioned last slide, adults should do some type of moderate to intense physical activity throughout the week. You may need to do more physical activity if you're trying to lose or maintain a healthy weight. Some ways to be physically active are jogging. You can jog around your neighborhood and if you can't jog, you can do a fast paced walk. You can do dancing in your living room or outside. You can go bicycling. Gardening is a great workout and it makes your house or your neighborhood garden look nice. Just remember to water your plants. Or climbing stairs. Climbing stairs is a great way to do moderate to intense physical activity. 
Let's discuss how kids can be active too. This is a 10 tip sheet called Be a Fit Kid and it is a SNAPED approved worksheet. You can find this tip sheet and much more information at choosemyplate.gov. I'm going to highlight a few of my favorite tips. Tip number two, turn up the music. Shake a rattle and roll your favorite song. Turn on some hip hop, country, salsa, or pop music and move your body. Dancing is a great way to get some physical activity. Number five, go out and play. Ditch the TV or iPad and go outside with friends, family, even your pets. Have a hula hoop contest, play basketball with some friends, try jumping rope, or simply play a game of tag. I also like number six, dive right in. Kern County gets very hot during the summer, so go to your local indoor or outdoor, outdoor pool and swim. Swim laps. Play water games with friends or have a diving contest for fun. And lastly, uh, tip number 10. If you're stuck inside, play a game or hide and seek or plan a scavenger hunt in your house with your friends and family. Another great way to stay active indoors is by doing crunches and jumping jacks and see how many you can complete. Once again, you can find this printable, printable resource on choosemyplate.gov, or I will be providing our information at the end of this, this lesson so we can help you get this handout, and it is also available in Spanish. Tips for being physically active. Start slow. If you're getting started, you can start slow by doing 10 minutes of activity at a time. Add more time and intensity as you get stronger. A local library may offer free videos or you can find videos online to get you started. Walking works. Walk in the area that is comfortable for you, like in your neighborhood, at a park, or in the mall. If your child's school is nearby, Walk him or her to school when they get in and when they're out. Look for activities in your community. Check a local community center or a place of worship for free or low cost exercise programs, fitness classes and activities for you and your kids. Join a group that focuses on being active such as a walking club, even if your family is busy, there are many ways to be active. Being more physically active can help you better yourself and give you more energy. Look for friends, family, or members in your community who will support your efforts to move more. Move throughout the day. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Walk the dog instead of letting the dog go outside by itself. Do push-ups and sit up as you listen to your favorite songs or in between commercial breaks while you're watching TV. Park further away from the store. If you go to the grocery store, um, that can add steps to your day. Build stronger muscles. Uh, yoga and lifting light weights are good ways to build muscles. Try doing strength building activities at least two, two days each week. And you can be active at any age. Anyone benefits from physical activity. You can play with your toddler in your yard or walk with your grandparent to the bus. Play sports like soccer with older adults or younger with your kids in your community or enjoy a game of tag with everyone in the family. All right, you've been hearing me talk for the last about 10 minutes. So we're gonna take a quick little physical activity break. So if you're sitting down on your chair or standing up, um, i ask you a few questions. So cross your arms in front of your chest 
if you mostly sit during the day at work or at home or anywhere else. So cross your arms in front of your chest if you sit most of the day. Good. Now, shake your hands, just your hands, if you think you move enough during the day. So shake them, do some jazz fingers, and move your hands wildly if your day is full of a lot of physical activity. So move them wildly. Good job, everybody. I hope this helped. And I hope with these questions that I asked, it can help you reflect on your daily physical activity, if you already do enough or if you think you need to do more. So what are the benefits of physical activity? Physical activity helps you control body weight, it helps you burn calories, and it may reduce your risk of certain chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. It also helps you uh, to sleep better at night. It makes you feel better about yourself and it helps you maintain strong bones and muscles. All of these are a few of the benefits of physical activity. It is important to be regularly active and it is a key factor in maintaining a healthy body weight, body weight for kids and adults. Parents, you play an important role in helping your children make physical activity an everyday habit. That's why we encourage you to do it every single day. Why is it so hard to be physically active? Sometimes life just happens and you feel like you don't have time to fit physical activity into your day. Here are some challenges you might have thought or said to yourself throughout the lesson. You're too tired when you get home from work. If you feel like that's the case, you can actually try to fit in some physical activity during your lunch or break time at work. During your break, you can take a 10 minute walk. During your lunch, if you have an hour lunch, you can do 30 minutes of eating your lunch and then another 30 minutes of some sort of physical activity. If you feel like there's no time, there's too many things to do, you can be more active in every everyday things that you already do. You can use the stairs and instead of using the elevator or you can park your car at the end of the parking lot whenever you run errands. That way you get more steps in. Or if you like to work out um, with other people and you have nobody to be active with, you can plan fun ways to be active with your family, your neighbors, your friends. You can play with your kids or you can walk your dog. There is always somebody available who can join you to do some sort of physical activity. we have gone over the challenges of solutions of physical activity. I wanted to share this delicious and healthy recipe. Now it is important to keep yourself fueled before and after physical activity. This recipe is a USDA approved recipe and it is a chick pane. As you can see on the slide, the cook time is about 40 minutes and it makes about six one and a half cups servings. The ingredients include three cups of penne pasta, whole wheat, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, two cups of fresh broccoli, one cup of diced chicken cut into one half inch pieces, one and a half cups of fat free half and half, one tablespoon of enriched all-purpose flour, one eighth cup of low-sodium chicken broth, one teaspoon of salt, 
half a teaspoon of black pepper and one cup of reduced cheddar cheese shredded and there is underneath the ingredients there is a nutrition per serving you can see that this recipe has 300 calories and about 19 grams of protein you can find more recipes like this at choosemyplate.gov to summarize lesson four we now know that there are fun and easy ways to be more physically active and eat healthy. You can take steps to make these habits part of your daily life. So just as a reminder, adults need at least two and a half hours of physical activity during the week. Kids should at least do 60 minutes every day and children ages two to five should play throughout the day. And once again, here are our website links. If you want to learn more about our services at CAPK Calfresh Healthy Living, listed on this slide are our webpage, Facebook, as well as MyPlate website for more resources on the topics that were covered in this entire series. And in the next slides, I will actually be showing you what the MyPlate website looks like. Okay, this is the choosemyplate.gov homepage. Throughout the series, you have probably heard all of our health educators, including myself, bring up choosemyplate.gov. And I want to show you what the fuss is all about. So like I mentioned, this is the first page, the homepage. It is very easy to navigate. And the first thing you probably notice is the Start Simple with MyPlate app. This is an app you can actually download if you go to your mobile app and type in Start Simple with MyPlate. It will pop up and you will be able to download it. You can track what you eat every day. You can see real time progress and fun. You can earn fun badges along the way. Now, down here it shows all of the five food groups if you actually click on each one of them it will give you more information it's pretty easy to navigate and i'm going to go into detail of each of these tabs in the next few slides we went over the home page. Now if you were to click on the right of that is the Eat Healthy tab. And you will find not only all of the five food groups, but you will find extra nutrition information. For example, there's oils, there's how to eat healthy on a budget, and it also tells you what exactly is my plate if you're not sure. And my favorite one is the my plate my state and you can actually it's a map you can click on it and you can see what fruits and vegetables are in season and you can see where things are available based on your geographical location now the browse by audience tab is very nice because it condenses your search by the audience and at the very bottom, it's also nice because you can also select what language you are looking for. On the resource tab is where you can find all of the materials in this lesson. We have the print materials, the infographics are really nice, videos, and my favorite, there's a whole section on food safety. And lastly, we have the My Plate Kitchen. This is where you can find hundreds of delicious, healthy meals. You can also find cookbooks. There's ethnic cookbooks, and also there's videos, recipe videos that show you step-by-step -step instructions. And this pretty much sums up the website. 
Feel free to check it out after this lesson. Once again, it's choosemyplate.gov. All right, this concludes the last and final lesson for the My Plate for My Family series. Once again, my name is Lupita Rivera, a health educator. And from all of us at Cap K Calfresh Healthy Living, we thank you for participating. If you have any questions or would like more information, feel free to give us a call. Our office number is 661-439-3838 or shoot us an email at capknutritioned at capk.org. Thank you so much and have a great day.